it's it's phenomenal. So some of them don't even have a driver's license. They have more experience flying a plane than they do driving a car. Started Aim High Flight Academy uh, for 2022 in June of this year. General Brown's um, Radio Diversity Initiative to energize youth ages 16 up to 23. We're trying to make the diversity of the Air Force more closely match the diversity of the nation. I think everything is amazing that they're actually offering this. I think that a lot of our younger generation, um, they don't see a lot of pilots that look like them. Um, in the Air Force and commercial, they just don't see it. And so I feel like this program kind of lets them have that opportunity to see that this is a possibility for them. Three three-week sessions in which the students come out. The primary focus is flight training, so they get up to 15 hours of uh, uh, flight training in Cessna 172s uh, with a kind of a stretch goal to solo at the end of that 15 hours if they're ready. Being here throughout the nine weeks and watching all of the students um, from the time that they start literally not even knowing um, which rudder to press as they're going down and then watching them just be fully confident in knowing that they're able to solo and fly that plane on their own is amazing. Um, that was probably the most rewarding part of the program. Students are the best. Um, it is amazing to be able to watch them grow from week one to week three. So they come in here, we pick them up from the airport, they're very shy, reserved, kind of ask a few questions, don't know what they're getting themselves into. Uh, and then what they do is they just take it and they run with it, which has been awesome. Getting up in the sky and really getting the hands-on experience is amazing. Um, the people, you like, you don't know anybody here, and you come in flights as groups. And what I really love is like really getting to know these people as well, like the cadre, like I was saying earlier. Getting to know the cadre, getting to know the student body, it's like wow, you understand what we're like. I guess aim high to me. Um, so far for the past two and a half weeks, it's been. I guess it, not what I expected. I thought it was just flight training and just like military in all honesty and just going through like a nine to five flying day sims and like ground school. But in the past two weeks, I think it's been a little bit more than that. Like the flight that I'm in, Charlie flight, let's go Crusaders. Um, honestly, I think I'm gonna just keep in touch with these kids. Like I think they're gonna be some, some good friends in the future in aviation. Mentorship is a big part of it. As a staff, we're trying to model what Wright looks like as, as an Air Force and the end goal is to, is to give them something to aspire to, to give them the students the confidence through the flight training and encouragement to let them know that they can, they can do things they otherwise might have thought they couldn't. Uh, we want everybody to apply. I don't know, care where you come from. I don't care how you grew up. I don't care your background. I want you to know that this opportunity is here for you and that we would love for you to be able to come down and uh, learn how to fly with us. Once you get into senior leadership is one of your major obligations is to train your replacement. So I, I hope I've done that with 72 students over the summer. 